Well, hey everybody, Dead Linux here again. Uh, I say again because I think I just lost my recording. I had a. We were on a nice little lake and catching a bunch of perch. Well, I say we, you weren't with me because you haven't seen it. Um, but we were having some fun catching perch and Ruffy, and then I accidentally misclicked with Bandicam, and that was a mistake, and so I lost, like, the video corrupted and Propilkey froze, and I was trying to get out back into it, and long story short, I lost the video file. So, it was only about 10 minutes anyway, so I'm back in, and I picked a different lake this time. So the other lake I was on was actually more of a perch lake, so this time I actually was looking for more of something a little different. And what I found was this guy. So this is Metsalampi. Metsa. Metsa Lampi. Uh, artificial lake uh, in, in North Ukraine. Oh, interesting. Uh, dark water color, muddy bottom. Okay, we need bright stuff. Only the deeper area of the lake is an odd... The only deeper area in the lake is an odd riverbed. Okay, you can see that purple cut through here. Um, right here. So this is going to be the deepest part of this lake. Um, so what may they may have done is dammed it up here and then made the artificial lake that way. So it was a river before. So that means river species might be here, but let's see. The reason I wanted this is because uh, they have perch here, right? Yeah, but they have crucian carp, and I don't think I've caught any of those yet, so I want to try them. Uh, the midwinter fish activity can be low from time to time. reason is low oxygen level. Okay. This means we have to go deep, I think, because um, low o oxygen will sink. So fish, if it's a low oxygen level lake, um, you got to fish deep, or if at all. Uh, it also means smaller fish are going to be more active than larger fish. So we are going to actually focus on this riverbed, I think. Um, I think that's probably the only luck we'll have. So I didn't see that before. Um, I didn't read carefully enough for that part of it. So this may be, this may be a skunked trip, but we will try, and we will try, and we will succeed. Where the heck am I? Oh, that's the topo map. Uh, okay, so, yep, they dammed it up down here. Okay, so, uh, well, dam, road, I, I don't know, we'd have to take a closer look without doing any more geography, I couldn't tell you. Oh, we got some structure here. That's good. So, we're gonna, actually, let's, let's see how deep it is right here. Right by this stuff. Oh, it is real shallow. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna jump on the other side of it then, right here. Um because obviously plants do produce oxygen, so if they're still alive, if there's any sort of light penetration, the fish are going to concentrate over here, um, and then the bigger fish are going to be just outside of it. Um, that's why we're going to focus that way. Um, let's right there. So we're a little bit close to the bed. And let's see. So let's, uh, let's find out what we're dealing with here. Very shallow. Oh boy. Well, let's see what happens. No, no, let's not. I know for a fact we're, gonna, we're not going to have a good luck here. Um, so I want to move about a couple of steps straight south. Yeah, this is too shallow. I, well, all right, forget it. Let's 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 try it. Let's try it. We'll try it with a really light rod and see if we catch any ruffy. Well, not. I think they said ruffy or rare here, except near the riverbed. Um, but um, maybe perch. Maybe. We'll see. Can't imagine they're going to be too active. I set that to real sensitive. And just tap it. Oh, there's somebody. Oh, missed him. Little tiny fish. Nice hits, though. Oh, bait's gone. Oh, it's not. He can't get his teeth around it. Okay. Try this again. Mm. Ah, tää tää kupposen kahvi. Se vähän on kylmä tässä. Okay, I don't know what you're saying, but okay. So we do have some fish here. What we got? Ooh, yeah. Oh no, it's a roach. That's a big roach. Wow. Okay. I have never caught one that was like 
over like 50 grams. Let's switch to blood rooms and see what we get. Crazy. That's kind of cool. So, record roach for me. Is there just going to be the one hanging out in the... That's a bad bug. Here we go. Here's another one. That's a perch. Not a great perch, but that's a perch. Okay, so shallows worked. Weird. Don't ask me why I think I know what I'm talking about, but... Gosh, they're hard to catch here. No, they're all right here. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is keep jigging a little bit more steady so that we can catch them if they come by. There we go. 14. Oh, the thing I said in the other video, which I lost, was that um, sometimes if you find yourself, if you're, if you're fishing Pro Pilkey 2 and you're playing the, the competition, um, then it's, you know, everything's fair. Um, but um, if you're playing practice and you just want to catch fish, and it's like, eh, it's okay, I'm catching fish, switch to a lighter rod. Um, it'll seem a lot more exciting that way. Um, and that's a nice fishing thing in general, is a lighter rod, you'll get a lot more fun out of it. Um, and a lot more sensitive action, and you'll, it'll just, it's more game-like that way. Um, if you switch to a heavy rod all the time, thinking you're going to catch pike every time you fish Pro Pilkey 2, you're missing the point. Damn it! That sucks! Oh, so I just dropped down that little piece? Really? Well, maybe it'll work. Yep. Okay. Ooh. How did it... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There was just a piece left, wasn't there? And then it became a full blood worm? Weird. That can't be healthy. I pulled it out of his mouth. Alright. God. There we go. These huge hook sets. Oh, nine grams? Wow, they're getting smaller yet. Okay, let's keep going. And then we'll switch to the riverbed. Ooh, gosh. Bam, bam, bam. Lots of little perch. <sighs> wake up, wake up. Don't start yawning. We just started. Okay, and... Come on. Where are you? Yeah, you see it. Okay. No, okay, let me show you something. If you're new to this game or you're new to ice fishing in general and you're getting frustrated with, yeah, I don't catch anything. All right, I'm shallow. I know there's fish here already. Check this out. I'll see if it'll do it. On the drop, I may get one hit. I may get two hits. There we go. Um, I may not, I may not get a hit at all because oftentimes perch won't go after it unless you give it action. So jigging again is important. You have to do that. It is part of the game. Yes. God, we're just decimating the perch population here. Actually, we're cleaning up a lot of the little guys, although we're probably throwing them back. All right, I want some of these crucian perch or crucian carp. So let's go. Uh, all right, let's let's go deep. So we found shallow. We know shallow. There's a lot of little fish there, um, which means there may be bigger guys sitting right out, close by, because they don't want to move too much. So I want to go southwest, about like there-ish. Okay. So can I do that? Yeah. Let's do like there. I think and that looks like it should be the right spot. Ooh, I'm overshooting a little bit. It's going to be right here. If we're not in it, we will see a definite difference in depth. Because obviously rivers can cut real, real deep. Um, but the rest of this lake is going to be newer, so it's going to be really shallow. Um, kind of like what we saw. So... We want to get to the deeper part, the deepest flat, 
No, 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 no. Oh, I had my perfect spot. Where did you go? You're right there. Okay. Hey, good thing for snow cover, right? I can see my tracks. Now, if we were on ice or something else, we wouldn't be able to do that. Uh, I haven't switched my drill. Just just for time's sake, I just wanted to, I wanted to mess around with the smaller drill for a while. We're not catching any big fish anyway, so... Yet. We might. Alright, what are we doing here? Oh, good. Good, good, good. Okay, see? We're still pretty shallow, so I'm not really... We're more... We're deeper than we were, but... Ooh, there's a nice one. There we go. That's a better size perch. Not great, but better. Alright, let's see here. Oh my gosh, we got a hit on the way down. Okay. That's kind of a drag. I can't see the rod when it's being... Ooh! There we go. There we go. It's the first one I've gotten. Crucian carp. Cool. Why do you want to catch carp? Because it's cool. Don't be dumb. It's a new type of fish. Although it's weird that they're considered a carp since they're going for... um. They're going for uh, hooks and stuff like that, because I thought they had... Maybe they have mouse in the front. Another Crucian Carp. Cool. All right. We're going to stay here for a while. Good, because that was the whole goal of this mission, is to catch some Crucian Carp. Wait until fish is unhooked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gary, get on that, man. Just rip it out of their mouth. You're going to hit it just sitting there? Nope. If I do that, and you see it, do it again. See? Then they come back. <coughs> it's not that cold, dude. It's got to be like what? Let's see, negative 3 degrees Celsius, so it's what? 20 degrees Fahrenheit? That's like warm. Gary, you're getting you're, you're getting a little weak. Oh, really? It already stole the bait. Oh, a smaller fish then. Okay. As I mumble to myself. There we go. It's fun, huh? It's nice when you catch different fish. That's the whole. That's the thing I love more than anything else. Is the fish variety in this game? Another perch. Oh, have I know? All right. Here we go. We still haven't gotten um, deeper yet, and I kind of want to experiment with the deeper location to see. That was a good hit. There it is. That was a good hit with a small rod. Yeah, let's see if we can chew this bait up, because I want to see how deep this river gets, because we're obviously missing it. Oh, there we go. Oh. Hello. Whoa. Okay, I got to check that one out. Hold on a second. So, let's see. Um, so, what is it? 131 grams to... Pounds. Just search quick. Quarter pound. A little bit, a little bit more than a quarter pound fish. So still not big. Probably still not even a keeping size. But the biggest fish we've caught today. So that's all right. Um, and for the little rod we're using, perfectly fine. Okay. So am I? I am in the middle of the riverbed. What the heck? Okay. Well, let's go to that bend. I want to go to that bend. I want to see what that bend looks like. So, can we do that? Can we do that, Gary? Do you mind? Okay, so the bend is going to be like right here, isn't it?
I'm oh I'm running parallel to it. I gotta be a little bit further north. Yeah. Yeah. Like right there. That's where I wanna be, right there. deeper yet. Okay, so I guess I thought this would be a lot deeper. I'm sorry. I apologize. I was thinking it'd be like all the way down, but it doesn't look like we're going to get that action. But still, this should be where the oxygen is. Should be. Although, maybe not. Yeah. Ooh. There is somebody here. Okay. What's this? Okay. Okay, another Crucian Carp. Cool. Why did I do that? Don't do that. Oh, space... <coughs> oh, pull... Oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> yes, bear hooks catch fish. Yes. Ah, the delicious bear metal hook. Fish cannot resist the sharp tanginess of the, of the barb. Goodness. Northern will actually hit for something like that, because they go for flashy stuff, but sometimes. But really, I mean, don't... <laughs> if you want to catch fish, don't fish with a bear hook. Use bait! Like a normal human being. Okay, I saw a hit. Come on. Ooh. There's not going to be too many here, huh? No? Do a little ground pounding here. Nothing, huh? Let's give it a little life. No, huh. Interesting. So the fish moved shallow, huh? But we were also by those uh, reeds and stuff. How deep is it around there? Not. Mm-hmm. Well, okay, let's, let's give it one more shot here. I think I probably lost my bait. Um, hmm, okay, so not as much luck. Where to go, where to go, where to go? I don't want to go here because we're fishing in spring, late or early spring, which means if there is any oxygen starvation, it's already going to have happened. So we got to keep that in mind. Um, gosh, you know, we were going really well by the reeds. Oh, do we want to take a hike way up there? That's exceptionally shallow. Well, we broke one major rule. We left fish to find fish. So, let's go back to where we were and let's see what kind of luck we're still going to have. And, um, maybe um, we can uh, prove a point. I don't know. See if a theory holds true. That's just weird. It says low oxygen levels because it looks like there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of vegetation in this lake. So I wouldn't think it would be that big of a deal. Oh, why did I do that? Go oh, punch. Hole, hole. In case you didn't know, that's a hole. And that's a hole. It's mostly for if you're really zoomed out in the map, I suppose. Makes it easier to click. Um, really. Alright. So we're back to where we were, sort of. We're about a foot away from our original spot. Here, let me... Oh, there he is. There we go. Here come, they're still here. Okay. 
Fish got away, really. Oh, and so I'm going to just fish with the nubbin? Why am I doing that? Don't do that. Can I catch him then? Ooh, what the heck was that? It did hit it. It's a perch. <laughs> yep. Yeah, figured. <laughs> perch are crazy. Um, Let's try uh, one of these guys again. I know I keep going with blood worms, but... We know there's fish here anyway, so... We shall see. Yeah. Oh. You see it. You want to have it? Yes, you do. Oh, and I missed you again. <laughs> there we go. And there we are. Um, hmm. We have been fishing with the light rod. Let's switch back to the um, one step up and see if we have any difference in luck. And we'll just make sure that the spring bobber is really sensitive. Because a fish that's 100 grams at least will should be fine. Yep, there we go. Actually, these little guys will set it off too. It's a good. It's it's a good. Ooh, roughy. Um, it's a good all-around rod. That's why you start with it, I think. So make sure they got something to look at. Use that old piece of bait. There you go. Another perch. That's a little perch. Okay, and we'll switch it. Muddy water. Muddy water. Oh, pfft, I'm an idiot. Uh, I forgot about that. Um, let's use this guy. Gosh, why didn't anybody remind me it was muddy water? Oh, I'm an idiot. Um, yeah, here. Okay, go back to lake info. Um, it's used extensively to grow carp. Okay, but the fish are never left in the lake for the winter. Oh, really? I see. Because it would destroy the environment. How can you remove them all anyway? Uh, mostly small, which we've been catching. Okay, uh, yeah, midwinter, fish activity is low. Eh, we've been having pretty good. Well, midwinter. Yeah, we're beginning winter. Um, <laughs> dark color and a muddy bottom. Dark water color. That was what. Okay, so that's that's what I've been forgetting. So let's make it shinier so they can actually see it and cut through. I don't even know if it'll make a difference. Maybe I got it all wrong. Maybe I should be using one of the silver ones. It flashes more. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that won't work. I always get it backwards. It all deals, deals with um, wavelengths of light, and I always get them confused. So I always thought with darker water, reds and oranges and stuff cut the water better so you can actually have it see, but maybe you need something that reflects light a lot more across the spectrum. I don't know. Ooh, there we go. See? Okay, I'm I'm an idiot. Ruffy. Yep. Okay. How much more time do I got here? Oh, we're almost down to the end. Okay. So I got a minute left here on the video. Let's switch to blood worms, which I love, and we'll see if we get one more fish. So, what did we really learn today? Uh, low oxygen levels, lots of small fish. You can still catch them, um, but you must consider your location very carefully. And lighter rods are more fun to start out with. If you got a lot of, if you know it's going to be perch and a lot of little perch on the lake, switch to the light rod. It's a lot more fun. Another roughy, yeah. Cool. Well, thank you guys for coming, and Carl, thanks you too. And uh, we will uh, see you again in another Pro Pilky 2 video uh, when I get one posted. So enjoy the Crucian carp. And have yourself some perch bread cakes on the other... Oh, you weren't part of that video. Never mind. You're not going to get that joke. Anyway, goodbye! <laughs>